Welcome back to the Accessible Art History YouTube channel. In today's video, we're diving into the enchanting world of medieval illuminated manuscripts. These beautifully adorned manuscripts are not just relics of the past, but they are windows into the art, culture, and storytelling that thrived in the Middle Ages. So to explore the intricate details, the fascinating history, and the enduring legacy of these captivating works of art, keep on watching. Medieval illuminated manuscripts are handwritten books created during the Middle Ages, typically between the 5th and 15th century CE. Art historians use the term, quote, illuminated because of the radiant, colorful illustrations and other decorative elements that adorn the pages. These manuscripts were painstakingly crafted by skilled scribes in monasteries across Europe. As you can see, these manuscripts often feature intricate initials, ornate borders, and elaborate illustrations. The artistry in these works is nothing short of astounding, even all these centuries later. Now let's talk about how these manuscripts were made. Creating an illuminated manuscript was no small task and it was quite labor intensive. First, scribes used animal skins to make parchment, which was carefully prepared. Then they painstakingly wrote the text with quills and ink. Artists, which were sometimes the same scribe and sometimes a different person, added illuminations, often using expensive materials like gold leaf, if a wealthy patron had commissioned the work. Finally, the pages were bound together in a book. As I mentioned earlier, medieval monasteries played a crucial role in the production of illuminated manuscripts. Some monks that dedicated their lives to copying and preserving these works. The monasteries served as both libraries and workshops, ensuring that the knowledge of time was preserved for future generations. In rooms called scriptoriums, monks would work diligently, meticulously copying texts and illuminating pages. Not only was this an act of devotion, but it was a way to preserve and spread knowledge and religious teachings. Now that we've established some background information on illuminated manuscripts, let's take a look at some examples. First up is the Book of Kells. The Book of Kells is an ancient and iconic illuminated manuscript that ranks among among the most treasured artifacts from Christian history and the Celtic period. Also known as the Book of Columba, the manuscript was created around 800 CE. It's believed to have been produced on the island of Iona, Scotland by Celtic monks and then was later completed in Kells, Ireland. It was likely made in a scriptorium at a monastery. The Book of Kells is a gospel manuscript, meaning it contains the four gospels of the New Testament, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. It's lavishly decorated, consisting of 340 folios or double-sided pages that measure approximately 33 by 25 centimeters. The pages are made of vellum, which is a parchment made from calf skin. As expected, the most remarkable aspect of the Book of Kells is its exquisite illumination. It's renowned for its intricate and colorful illustrations, including ornate initials and elaborate decorative motifs, including patterns, zoomorphic figures, and complex geometric designs. There are also scenes from the life of Christ and other biblical themes. Today, the Book of Kells is housed in the Library of Trinity College Dublin, where it's been carefully preserved for centuries. It's considered one of the most important surviving examples of insular or Celtic manuscript art, and is a testament to the dedication and craftsmanship of medieval scribes. In summary, the Book of Kells is a masterpiece of medieval illumination and a significant cultural and religious artifact that continues to inspire art historians today. It's a symbol of Ireland's artistic and spiritual heritage as well. The next example of an illuminated manuscript is one of my personal favorites. The Ebo Gospels, also known as the Aperni Gospels, are a set of illuminated manuscripts that represent a significant work of the Carolingian Renaissance. They were produced in the early 9th century, around 816 to 835. CE. This period is marked as a revival of learning and culture under the ruler Charlemagne, the Frankish king, and later Holy Roman Emperor. The Ebo Gospels are believed to have been created at the Palace School of Charlemagne's court near Reims, France. The manuscript is associated with the name of its scribe and artist, Galdeslaw, who was a member of the court's scriptorium. It consists of 248 parchment folios and measures approximately 25 by 19 centimeters. It's written in Latin and contains the four Gospels of the New Testament. The text is written in a bold and distinctive Carolingian minuscule script, which is a significant departure of earlier manuscripts. What makes the Ebo Gospel so remarkable is its distinctive and bold style. The manuscript features energetic, dynamic, and expressive illustrations, which are different than typical, calm, and serene style of an earlier Christian book. The figures of the Ebo Gospel exhibit exaggerated gestures and emotions, and the compositions are quite dramatic. The use of vibrant colors and abstract swirling patterns also adds to the unique character. The Ebo Gospel, like the other Gospel books, primarily contain the text of the four Gospels, but it has prefaces and other liturgical materials emphasizes the humanity of Christ, his suffering, and his sacrifice. This can be attributed to the turbulent times of the Carolingian period with its political and religious challenges. Today, the Ebo Gospels are housed in the Municipal Library of Aperne, France. They are preserved with great care and don't come out to see the public very often. The unique artistic style and historical importance continue to attract scholars and historians interested in the evolution of Christian art during the Carolingian era. The final example of this video is from a later period than the first two. 
This way, we can see how the medium evolved over time. The Très Riche Hours du Duc de Berry is often simply referred to as the Rich Hours. It is one of the most celebrated and exquisite illuminated manuscripts of the late medieval period. It was created in the early 15th century, sometime between 1412 and 16, with later additions and completions by artists in the later 15th century. This stunning manuscript was commissioned by John Duc de Berry, a French prince and artistic patron. It was produced in northern France, likely near Paris, hence its name. The manuscript consists of 206 vellum folios, or pages, measuring approximately 22 by 30 centimeters. It's written in Latin and features many illuminated pages, including full page ones. The manuscript contains calendars, prayers, and biblical texts, with a particular focus on the prayers of the hours of the Virgin Mary. The most striking feature of the rich hours is its exquisite illuminations. The manuscript is adorned with meticulously detailed and vibrant illustrations that depict very aspects of medieval life, something we haven't seen before in this video. It includes scenes of court, rural life, and religious devotion. Artists employ luminous palette, including blues and golds, with an exquisite attention to detail, making the use of these details to add a rich, radiant quality to the pages. The rich hours primarily revolve around the liturgical calendar of the Christian church, particularly the hours of the Virgin. Each section of the manuscript corresponds to a specific time of the day and season with the prayers that one would say. It includes depictions of the Duke of Berry and his court, as well as scenes from the lives of the saints, biblical narratives, and allegorical representations. This represents the pinnacle of the international Gothic style, characterized by meticulous details, bright colors, and intricate compositions. The manuscript's portrayal of daily life, nature, and religious devotion offers art historians valuable insights into the culture and spirituality of the late Middle Ages. Today, the rich hours of the Duc de Berry has been housed in various collections and libraries, including the Musée Condé at the Château de Chantilly, and is carefully preserved for the public. In summary, the Très Richards de Duc de Berry is a masterpiece of medieval illumination that reflects the splendor and sophistication of the late medieval period in France. Its richly detailed illustrations and profound religious significance continue to inspire art historians and audiences around the world. As we wrap up our journey into the world of medieval illuminated manuscripts, we can truly see their impact on the history of art and our understanding of the medieval period. This delicate art form helps us to understand the importance of the connection between religion, the written word, and artistic expression.